Osborne, Cameron, yeah. Boris, dressed up in the rig, yeah. in the buller. Yeah, there you are at Oxford University. How do you get invited into this club? Uh, well, you're exactly, you're right. You're, you're asked, so you can't apply. Yeah. And so you're normally asked by somebody in the year above. And the funny thing is, until those pictures of first Cameron and then Osborne appeared, it had been largely uh, forgotten that it had been going for, I can't remember, 150, 150 years or so. Yep. And people, when I was at Oxford, hadn't really even heard of it. I had heard of it, but it wasn't that well known. Then when Cameron became Tory leader, opposition leader in 2005, those pictures appeared, and it was uh, like belonging to an evil cult. <laughs> <laughs> now, tell us about some of your experiences in yeah. the Bullington Club. Well, actually... It, it really, I promise you, it wasn't that dramatic. Uh, essentially, the Bullingdon began as a sporting club, uh, a cricket club and a point-to-point -point club. It's yep. named after a little village called Bullingdon outside Oxford. I know it, yeah. And there's a point-to-point -point there, still is. And it began as a sporting club with drinking attached. It turned into more of a drinking club yep. with sports attached, so the club still went to the point-to-point. Uh, -point. So... I promise you, it really wasn't that dramatic. It's what a lot of undergraduates or young people would do. They got together and had too much to drink. But the fatal thing is wearing those silly clothes and having that group photo. And so the combination of those things, yeah. and I, I realise it's deeply, deeply embarrassing. It gave the impression we're dressed in those things every single day of the oh, year. didn't you? No, no. <laughs> in fact, I'd only met... Twice a year, and only on one of those days did you put on the stupid clothes. But I freely admit it's a deeply embarrassing institution, but it, uh, its effect is greater than the actual amount of time you spent doing all that silly stuff. And some of the odd